Hey guys, welcome back to Program Hub and today in this episode we're gonna talk about Red Hat Virtual Machine in the new Macs with the Apple Silicon processor. So there had been some questions around onto our YouTube community and there had been some people asking about this. Can we install Red Hat on the new Macs with the Apple Silicon processor for a virtual machine? So I'll be completely trying to describe this complete issue and a problem and how can we get it resolved. So guys, right now, the Red Hat, if I just try to simply clear this out, Red Hat is completely not available to be installed as a virtual machine on the new Macs with the Apple Silicon processor. And the reason for that is the page size that Red Hat uses. So Red Hat currently uses 64K of page size, whereas the new Macs do not support that. So that is the reason why you cannot install Red Hat, the stable version that is right now available into any of the Apple Silicon MacBooks. So that is a great concern over here. You cannot try to install as a virtual machine Red Hat using any of the softwares. Maybe it's Parallels or VMware Fusion or UTM or VirtualBox. So any kind of software is not eligible right now to allow you to install Red Hat. But there's a good news for all the Red Hat users right now. So the good news is that in the past, November 2021, Red Hat has actually released a beta version for the Red Hat operating system that can be installed into the MacBook with the M1 processor. So we actually tried to test that beta version of the operating system that is provided right now. So there has been completely two release into that. So we tried the ARM64 version of the Red Hat to get it installed using Parallels, UTM and VMware Fusion. So we tried all the softwares. The operating system does install properly onto the virtual machine, but it gets into some flaws and some bugs. And that is the reason we cannot use that onto any of the Apple Silicon as well till now. So even after releasing a version that is compatible with the page size of the Apple Silicon processors, that is 4K. So right now Red Hat has released a 4K page size of operating systems that is compatible with the Apple Silicon processors and it does get installed. But when we try to reboot that, when we try to use that, it's completely not usable. So we cannot use that right now because it does not load up properly and we cannot actually use that. It does get installed, but we cannot use that. So we try to test that with all the softwares that are currently available, Parallels, VMware Fusion, UTM and everything. We try to test that and we try to do every kind of alteration to that so that we can actually fix the issue and get it running on the new MacBooks with the Apple Silicon. But there is nothing right now working over there. So we'll be requiring to wait for some more time so that Red Hat actually releases a version that is completely usable for every other person. So this is a kind of a bad news for Red Hat users if you want to actually use Red Hat right now on any of the Apple Silicon MacBooks. So that is something that cannot be done right now. And till then guys, if you want to actually use a Linux version similar to Red Hat, you can actually go around using Fedora. So Fedora is right now compatible with the Apple Silicon MacBooks and you can use that. And that is something similar to Red Hat because it's actually based upon that. So you can actually try to use Fedora. Fedora is completely feasible and it's available for use on any of the Apple Silicon MacBooks. And if you've got any more queries, any more doubts, please leave that down in the comment section below. We'll be happy to read that and reply to you. And if you liked our video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe us for more such updates and interesting videos. Meet you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.